Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to quickly add um, very good looking formatting to an Excel spreadsheet to spruce it up. And if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So what I've got here is a very boring sales report, right? And I've got four quarters with our sales data right here, sums or sum functions for the totals, and then I've got a total for all of the uh, salesmen for these guys right here. But it is definitely not a good idea to present such a boring report to a boss or uh, in any kind of presentation. So let's go ahead and make this look quite a bit better. Now, um, in Excel 2007, we have a very cool way to quickly add things or formatting to cells. And that's using the cells styles box right here. Now make sure you're on the Home tab, go to the Styles box, and click Cell Styles. In addition, in Excel 07, we have what's called Live Preview. So as soon as I hover over any one of these cells, automatically we get to see what it would look like. So you can very quickly say, oh, okay, I like the way this looks, or I don't like the way that looks. Or I don't know, hmm, should I choose one of these headings? So anyway, this is where we're going to do a lot of our stuff today. So Cell Styles button and then right here. Now for the sales report, let's go ahead and choose title. Make it nice and big. Now after that happened, this is a little bit smushed together. I don't want it to be so close to Q1. So I'm going to insert another row here. Right click, insert. Make that row a little smaller. Okay. Now, don't worry about how this row looks because we're not going to see it in a second. Now let's go ahead and change these headings so we know that they are headings. You could just do control B to make them bold. That's kind of boring. So highlight them. Go to cell styles. Let's go ahead and uh, choose a heading down here. Personally I kind of like heading 3. And if these settings look a little bit big on your screen it's because I have a 200% zoom setting just so it's easy to see. So the next thing I'm going to do is Put a formatting on these guys, so I'm going to go to Cell Styles, and I'm going to go to Heading 4, because they don't really need an underline. Next thing I want to do, make these numbers look like dollars. So highlight them, go to the Home tab, Number Box. Now I'm going to just go ahead and click the dollar sign right here. You see it'll do an accounting number format. That's okay with me. If you'd like a different format or uh, a bunch of them, and this is not enough right here, Click the little arrow thing in the bottom right hand corner of the number box. When you click that, you go back to this window, should remind you of Excel 2003, and you can choose all these different formats right here. So I will repeat that again because it was kind of quick. To do the number formatting here, just highlight the desired cells, choose any one of these options right here, but if that's not enough, number box, bottom right hand corner bottom right hand corner click that and on the number tab select whatever you want alright let's go ahead and format these as dollars also but now I kinda wanna differentiate them a little bit right I kinda wanna make this look a little bit different than the Q4 sales so let's highlight that go back to cell styles and uh, I can't see it too well here but I'm gonna go ahead and choose output kind of like the way that looks, not terrible. Now this one, I want it to really stand out, so I'm going to select it, go to Cell Styles, and check Total. Now that way we got a nice double underline and bold to show us that it is the final total. Now, I don't like all these grid lines. They are quite honestly annoying me, so let's go ahead and fix those. Go to the View tab. On the View tab, uncheck the Grid Lines box, and they're gone. So, get that out of the way. This is the final result. Now, it may not be what you want. Maybe you want company colors. Maybe you want a different format. But the point is, really, that's how you can very quickly add many different types of um, really professional-looking formatting to your spreadsheets. I'm going to go ahead and center this data really quickly. Go to the Home tab, Alignment box, right here. Get that cursor out of there. So, let's go ahead and zoom out and see what it would look like, regular zoom. That's pretty much what it's going to look like at 100% zoom. 
So it looks a lot better than it did before. Now, if you would like to get this worksheet, go to teachexcel.com. You can download it there. And that's it for this tutorial.